Blessings love. I desire to hold space for the divine annual Gemini solar season lunar cycle that is upon us. The gibbous moon phase of the lunar cycle. The phase of the lunar cycle just preceding the full moon illumination. Full moon eclipse in Sagittarius is on the rise. When the gibbous moon enters Scorpio, we are given a chance to revisit our past lunar cycle. So in our Taurus solar season, we have we had our Scorpio full moon, which is always the most incredible illumination for humanity every year. The Wessack moon, Scorpio full moon, allows for human consciousness to rise by being open and willing to look at the darkest shit that you have been constantly avoiding for your entire lives. And this is what's happening right now. It's terrifying, and it's horrifying, and it's disgusting. And there is an amplification of the darkness, especially on social media over the last few days, where people are being confronted with their own internalized systemic racism consciousness and their internalized misogyny consciousness and their internalized colonial consciousness and their internalized self-abandonment. The world culture at this time is a created multi-system, a deep web that has been infecting humanity for thousands of years. But this is prophetic awakening at this time. We are coming online, no fucking pun intended, as a hive mind, as a world culture, researching the hundredth monkey effect. They cannot stop consciousness at this time. We are the new earth rising, we are the new earth awakening, and you cannot mute yourself or silence yourself at this time. You have come to this planet for a soul journey, soul purpose. Human life is motherfucking unbearable most of the time. Unless you're super privileged and you, like, you're just living in a complete bubble of your own self-avoidance and posturing and comfort. The ability to look away from the pain and destruction of this world at this time and the pain of others is a privilege. The discomfort that you feel even hearing the word white privilege or white fragility or white guilt if that makes you angry and want to defend yourself just imagine what it's like having your race used as a tool to keep you hidden and small from the moment you became a being on this planet systemic race and racism and internalized misogyny are two of the greatest diseases that pervade human consciousness and infects every part of every human and we are all aware of it in some way whether we want to accept it or not um part of shock trauma awakening which is happening to like millions of people at this time is being forced to confront the ways that you have been complicit to horrible treatment of others and the ways that you have been ignorant of your own privileges and this isn't a time for spewing your guilt and shame outward onto other people and apologizing incessantly to other people especially your your friends that are of color they don't need your apologies. They need your self-awareness, your self-compassion, and your self-actualization, and your willingness to educate yourself. Overextending your shame and guilt and apologies to other people when you haven't even done your own work is exhausting and painful and downright motherfucking annoying to have to deal with on the daily. If you've never had to deal with race as any part of your human experience, 
it's not really a place for you to peddle your shame and guilt and internalized disgust at the self and making another not responsible for it but like just having to have them have to carry that energy that you just handed over to them and this is where we learn our own personal boundaries with our own energies in motion our emotions and this is the power of scorpio this is the power of scorpio moon and if you didn't really gather the lessons the soul lessons during the scorpio lunar cycle last month you always get an opportunity to learn with scorpio the moon always gives you a chance to learn through Scorpio every month. Every month the moon comes into Scorpio. And this is a divine phenomenon that can only be felt to be believed. We are moving beyond this paradigm of show me and prove it to me before I'll believe. We are unwinding out of it. It's falling away. And you have to learn to think for yourself now and come to terms with what you actually think. What is the truth of how you think? What is the truth in how you really feel? Can you honor your own rage and your disgust and your bitterness and your resentment and all of the anger that you carry around with you for never being able to express the truth of who you are? Scorpio is like this intense, incredible guide and an energy pathway that you can access truly anytime, but especially on days where the sun and the moon and other planets are transiting the sign. It's an energy line that you can call into your being, call it into your body. Scorpio moon as I am, I ask for you to guide me and help me illuminate all falsity within my own being. Show me where I am holding on to destructive self-betrayal. Illuminate my jealousies and my darknesses and the shadow aspects of the things that I don't even know about myself. I am willing to open my heart to the shadow in my life, no longer afraid of looking and digging deeper and deeper into the roots of my own being. There is a sadness and a deep wounding on this planet. And it's coming through every pore of your being and you cannot look away. And what they want us to do is censor ourselves, put on the mask, and not share the journey, and not share the resources, and not share the how-tos. Silence yourself. Disappear. Disintegrate into thin air. Starve yourself. Get fucked up every night. Drown yourself in alcohol and toxic makeup and garbage food. But what if you refuse to buy what they're selling you? And what if you refuse to no longer harm yourself and hurt yourself and ignore yourself and cut yourself and starve yourself and give yourself away? Part of reseeding human consciousness on this earth is spearheading your own self-healing journey. And the deepest part of shamanic medicine that has taught me so much about my own journey, my own healing, my own inner power is you have to regrow your being from the ground up like a divine seed. If you've never grown anything from a seed, this can be one of the greatest gifts you give yourself to reconnect to life and reconnect to earth, uh, reconnect to the process of growth and allowing for life to grow. When I got this plant, it was almost dead and it, there was only one stem and it was withered and it was like, oh, hanging on for dear life. But every single day I have come to it and I hold it and I speak to it and I feed it and I touch it and I water it and I give it that deep intentional care. And if I can do that to some smaller life form, one of the greatest soul guides and soul teachers, the divine elemental plant kingdom. 
if I can do this for my divine friend, of course I can do this for myself. But you have to get real first on your internal blockage to your self-nurturing care. And that's our shadow root work that we're really trying to understand is what is this block? And who taught me to ignore myself? And am I willing to show up to my body? Am I willing to show up to my mind? Am I willing to show up to my emotions so that I can continue to alchemize my pain and my distortions and my delusions and my internal lies of the mind with my heart-centered nurturing care? And this is the power of Scorpio always and always to help yourself emancipate from the darkness the depths of your own underworld, of your inheritance. To rise from the ashes reborn as the phoenix, rising, rising in the fire, burning away, burning it all away until you truly become the eagle, soaring above the pain and the darkness, willing, willing to share the journey, share the resources, share your teachers, share the words, share the images, share things that have helped you heal so that we may bring our family home. I love you. I love you. I love you.